Welcome YouTube. The video you're about to see is a reaction video. It is a video of opinion. Nothing personal is meant toward the individuals in the videos. My volition uh, for posting these reaction videos is to look at these videos and critique them through the lens of correct sentence structure, communication, parse, syntax, grammar. Usually they are quantum grammar related videos and I'm looking for correct sentence structure knowledge here. And I'm also looking at the claims made in the videos through the lens of correct sentence structure, communication, parse, syntax, grammar. Now you may notice that I'm doing certain things with my hands. I am not making any secret hand signs or gestures. When one is doing public speaking, there's only so many things you can do with your hands. You can fold them, maybe put them on your hips, dangling lifelessly at your sides, put them in your pockets, hold them like this, whatever it is. I'm not making any type of signaling gestures, unless I do this, which means shaka. Keep in mind the information, the things that I'm sharing in this video are for educational purposes only, entertainment purposes only, nothing personal towards the individuals in the videos themselves. Thanks and enjoy. Hello folks. Thought I'd give you a little glimpse into some personal stuff here to give you a glimpse of some of the emails that I deal with on a daily basis. I get all sorts of interesting emails. Now as I've made it clear, I, I feel like I've made it clear in multiple, multiple, multiple videos. The only reason that someone have to, would have to contact me at jasonmatthewg17 at gmail.com is to apply for a correct grammar workshop or if they have a grammar question. That's the only reason why someone who doesn't know me would have to contact me. Those are the only, those are the terms and conditions. Those are the only reasons why I would correspond with someone. And then we get those folks who presume and assume they can do whatever they want, like this individual. This is going to be fun. So as you can see at the top there, you see the name David. And then their email is Thirsty David. So, I mean, that should have been my first clue. So check out the way this email is written. How goes the apocalypse and revelations? I see your bit shoot vid on logic contract conveyance isn't coming up. Is it anywhere else? Are you pretty well a sovereign being yourself? He, he, he. I have tested the idea on cops and below a sergeant is clueless on purpose. I also got some kick ass info on Kabbalah that works on songs like Legalese works on law if you are interested. Now, that, that's a very interesting phrase right there. Legalese works on law. What does that mean? Does that mean if you study legalese, you understand law? <laughs> so if you study the Kabbalah, you understand songs? I've been a musician since 1985. I've played professionally in bands for four years. Um, I know a little bit about music. I play an instrument myself. But that... that uh, that analogy just doesn't work for me. It's lots in songs. There's a sign on the wall, but she wants to be sure. Led Zeppelin. It's about capital letters, like on your straw man name. So this individual, whoever they are, obviously likes to play word games. And maybe they're assuming, presuming, that I like to play word games. So... They obviously haven't done any research on me. And I get this, you know, this is from my perception, someone projecting themselves onto me, thinking that 
automatically we start out on the level of friendship, which we don't. If I don't have a trust count with you, you're not my friend. And we're certainly not on a ship as friends. Okay? We're peaceful and neutral. All right? So this person is considered by me to be ignorant. They don't know what they're doing, obviously, or they wouldn't have contacted me like this. So it's up to me now, as master of this email vessel, to basically set them straight, give them closure on the terms and conditions of the vessel, and then see what they say. So this is my standard response. Interesting time signature up there, timestamp. So it's confidential, Kuliana. You see the question marks there because I don't know who this is. Say, hello, whomever you are. Thank you for requesting to board my vessel. I choose to convey my communications. I'm, I'm reading the plain, simple English part because this individual, whoever they are, has no clue about correct sentence structure. Not one shred of knowledge. At least they don't display one shred of knowledge about the grammar. So I'm just going into the plain, simple English for the ease of the communication here. So I will translate it in plain, simple English using brackets. The point being, I tell them that you know my full correct name. I ask that you give me the same consideration for the maintenance of the honor and the grace. If you wish to remain aboard my vessel and wish for me to answer any questions, please share your full correct name. I do not contract with anonymous or partial entities, nor with anyone who does not take authority over their words. And then at the bottom, I say, uh, I ask them, would you like me to schedule a consultation for you? So I'm telling them the terms and conditions of the vessel to share their correct name, their full correct name if they want to continue communication and remain standing in honor aboard this vessel as a guest. And I'm also offering a consultation. So this was six days ago on January 11th. When was the other one? January 11th, same day, six days ago. So let's see what the response is. So then on eight hours ago, <laughs> at 2.36 a.m., they say, Hey, Jason, this is 33-level Kabbalah. The letters of the alphabet, if you learn them and can use them. The key, KJV Bible and others, including Beatles, blah, 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 and every book in the Quran, its title with only a letter. All right. You go by words, sound, not spelling. It's phonetics. No, I don't. All right, so that's an assumption. They're assuming, they're saying you. And when someone says, like, for example, you're going over there. I don't mean me, I mean you. So when they say you, Y-O-U, they're meaning me. And that's an assumption presumption because I go by sound and spelling, but on paper has nothing to do with sound. has everything to do with how a word is constructed in the letters that are chosen for that word. That's why correct sentence structure works so well because it's so specific. But Thirsty Dave wouldn't know anything about that because they go by phonetics. So word games. Technically, linguistically called rebus. If it sounds or looks or smells or feels like it can be considered an option in translating. Example, I want to know, have you ever seen the rain? Rain. Oh my goodness. So he goes into an analogy or uh, Alice in Wonderland. It's more like Thirsty Dave in Wonderland with all this nonsense here. <clears throat> now, this may uh, make sense to some people. Some people may buy into this type of 
bullshit. But it's no practical sense and can't be certified to me. It may be fun for some, but not for me. I'm not a, a word game player. So again, if you notice, they don't take authority, authority over their words. They don't share their correct name. They don't even acknowledge anything that I said in my email. Totally ignore it, which is rude and violating the terms and conditions of the vessel. When you're, if you get invited to someone's house and you walk into their house and then he starts speaking to you, do you just ignore them? Do you just ignore them and start talking over top of them saying, through the tulips, tulips, won't you tiptoe through the tulips with me? You just start talking and ignoring the master of the household? Is that what you, is that how you conduct yourself in everyday life, Thirsty Dave? <laughs> So again, I send them back the same thing. Hello, whomever you are. And then their correspondence back to that is, you don't get it, and that's normal. Cheers. And then my coolie on it to that is, because quite frankly, I'm, I'm done with these types of games, because this person is violating the terms and conditions of this vessel construct. I syntax... Uh, their sentence, you don't get it, and that's normal. And then I say, what a world of presumption and assumption some folks live in. What I don't get is, why are you contacting me? I don't know you. Don't know your name. You won't credential identify yourself or take authority over your own words. You show no volition to learn correct grammar. We aren't friends, etc., etc. You send very strange fiction babble emails that make absolutely no logical sense to me. Perhaps you have mistaken me for someone who enjoys word games, stranger. If you continue on in this manner without sharing your correct name, I will jettison you. So I'm giving them another chance, yet another chance, to share their correct name. And, as I thought, it triggered them. As you can see, they put some bad words in here. It says, when you grow up and want to discuss man to man, sovereign to sovereign, and God to God... Ooh, ooh! <laughs> I will communicate. Uh, right. If you haven't communicated anything of substantial value yet thus far, thirsty Dave, I have no reason to think that you'll ever do it in the future. With the way you're doing here, what the hell is auto reply? You ain't that clued in. I don't play child games. Oh, yes, you do. That's exactly, in, from my perception, what you're doing right now. It's very childlike what you're doing, especially with this knee-jerk reaction, exactly how a child would react in, a, in an emotional way without even thinking. Totally ignoring the terms and conditions of the vessel that you're a guest of, with no consideration whatsoever for your fellow mankind. So, I mean... Definitely Thirsty Dave is out of here. He's blocked. He's done. Um, that ain't friendship. You're not kidding. It's not friendship. Thirsty Dave is not my friend. Never has been my friend. Never going to be my friend. Anyways, er the one. Okay. Well, Thirsty Dave, I hope somewhere in your searchings you find something to quench your thirst. Because you definitely walked into the wrong bar here. See ya. If you would like to learn correct sentence structure, communication, parse, syntax, grammar, I offer several choices. The first one, and the easiest one, is to study the almost 900 free public videos on this YouTube channel that you're watching right now. The second option, if you want to see new content, is to click the Join button on my main YouTube page or under any video that you're watching. Click the Join button and you will see two tiers of membership. If you choose the second tier, the Loyalist Contributor tier, and you join that, 
for a monthly support donation, you'll get new content, fresh content, exclusive content not available to the public every month. But keep in mind, there's already almost 900 videos here free to the public to study. And the third option is to contact me at the email address at the bottom of your screen. And this is for the serious students only. And apply for a correct grammar workshop. But please include your correct name when contacting me. And I'll set up a 10 to 15 minute video consultation. And you and I will have a conversation. You can ask me whatever you want. I'll answer your questions. I'll do the same with you. I'll ask you questions. And we'll see if indeed you are really serious or not. Thank you.